All right, you cheese-sniffing miscreants. Let's wade through this wasteland of cheese it flavors and decide which ones are just barely worthy of our taste buds. First up is extra cheesy, the sad excuse of a snack that is basically the inbred cousin of the original. It's neither trash nor treasure, so I'm going to slap it into B tier. You know what, Obama? You're absolutely right. Extra cheesy is like the love child of a rubber boot and a hunk of Velveeta cheese. If mediocrity and disappointment had a baby, it would be this flavor. Hold on, are you too blind? Extra cheesy is like a beautiful lie that leaves you betrayed and heartbroken. It's not even worth wiping your shoes on. B tier at best. Well, it seems we're all a bit divided on this one. Let's just settle on B tier before we all lose our minds. Next up, we have reduced fat. If you want to take a wild ride on the lame train, this is your snack. It's like eating cardboard that someone sneezed cheese onto. I guess it's commendable that they tried to make a healthier cheese it but it really just tastes like betrayal with a side of flavorlessness. I'll slap this pitiful excuse for a snack into C tier. Obama, you hit the nail on the head. Reduced fat is like a sad trombone playing a funeral dirge for our taste buds. I'd rather lick the floor of a cheese factory than endure this travesty again. C tier without a doubt. You must both be suffering from severe lack of taste. Reduced fat is a bold gamble that at least tries to save us from our own gluttony. It's like ordering diet soda and pretending it's the same as the real thing. I'd give it a B tier, but you're both hopeless. All right, let's just settle on B tier before we start a full-blown food fight. Moving on to Italian four cheese. With a name that promises so much, it's like a cruel joke when it falls flat on its face. It's like trying to put on a Broadway show with four poorly trained squirrels. I'll begrudgingly give it a C tier. Are you kidding me, Obama? Italian four cheese is like a delicate dance of flavors that leaves you satisfied and longing for more. It's like the best cheese and wine pairing of your life. A tier all the way. I'm with Obama on this one. Italian four cheese is like when your GPS leads you down a dead end road and you're left wondering why you ever trusted it in the first place. It can take its place among the other disappointments in C tier. Well, it looks like we're divided again. Let's just dump it into B tier and call it a day. Next up is duos. Sharp cheddar and Parmesan. It's like two drunks trying to sing a duet at karaoke night. Just a hot mess of flavors that don't belong together. It's a D-tier disaster. You're dead wrong, Obama. Duo's sharp cheddar and Parmesan is like the forbidden love affair of two flavors that somehow work together to create a masterpiece. I'll defend this B-tier beauty to the end. I'm siding with Obama on this one. Duo's sharp cheddar and Parmesan is like a blindfolded game of darts. It misses the mark and just leaves you frustrated. D tier is where it belongs. Looks like we're at an impasse. We'll compromise and stick it in C tier. Now let's talk about duos, bacon and cheddar. It's like someone took a beautiful dream of bacon and cheddar and replaced it with disappointment and sorrow. It's a cruel, cruel joke on our taste buds landing at a C tier. I'm gonna have to disagree with you, Obama. Duos, bacon and cheddar is like a high stakes poker game where you go all in and come out victorious. It's the snack that makes you believe in love again. I'm giving it a well-deserved A tier. I'm with Biden on this one. Duo's bacon and cheddar is like stumbling upon a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. It's a treasure worth savoring. A tier without a doubt. Well, we're clearly not seeing eye to eye on this one. Let's compromise and settle on a B tier. Next on the chopping block is grooves, sharp white cheddar. The grooves may add a fun texture, but the flavor is about as exciting as watching paint dry. It's like a one hit wonder that fades into obscurity. I'll give it a B tier. You know, Obama, I'm with you on this one. Groove sharp white cheddar is like receiving a sweater for Christmas when you were hoping for a new gadget. It's just underwhelming. B tier it is. Looks like we've got a consensus for once. Groove's sharp white cheddar is like a cookie with all the chocolate chips picked out. It's just lacking that special something. B tier is where it belongs. All right, let's move on to Groove's. Bold cheddar. The boldness is as real as a $3 bill and the Groove's can't save this sinking ship. It's like a roller coaster that only goes down. I'm giving it a B tier. Agreed, Obama. Grooves, bold cheddar is like a firework that fizzles out instead of lighting up the sky. It's a sad trombone playing in the background. B tier is generous enough. You're both being way too harsh. Grooves, bold cheddar is like the underdog that defies all odds and wins the championship. It's an A tier hero in my book. Well, it looks like we'll have to agree to disagree. Let's compromise and settle on a B tier. Now let's discuss snack mix, double cheese. It's like a party where the host runs out of drinks halfway through the night. A major letdown. 
It doesn't quite live up to its double cheese promise, so I'm giving it a B tier. I'm on the same page, Obama. Snack mix. Double cheese is like a beautiful cake that turns out to be stale when you take a bite. It's an unfulfilled promise that deserves a B tier. I have to disagree with you both. Snack mix double cheese is like an all-star team that dominates the game. It's a perfect blend of flavors and textures that makes it an A tier snack. Well, we can't all see eye to eye on this one. Let's compromise and settle on a B tier. Next, we have snack mix, sriracha. It's like a thrill ride that leaves you feeling nauseous instead of exhilarated. The sriracha flavor overwhelms the snack mix, so I'm giving it an A tier. I have to disagree, Obama. Snack mix sriracha is like a perfectly executed heist movie with a twist you never saw coming. It's a spicy masterpiece that deserves an S tier. I'm siding with Obama on this one. Snack mix. Sriracha is like a spicy dish that leaves your mouth on fire, but not in a good way. It's a B tier snack at best. We'll have to compromise on this one too. Let's settle on an A tier. Finally, we have snapped, double cheese. It's like a knockoff designer bag. It looks good from a distance, but up close, it's just not quite right. I'm giving it a B tier. Agreed, Obama. Snapped. Double cheese is like a catchy song with terrible lyrics. It's enjoyable, but it could be so much better. B tier sounds right. You're both way off. Snap double cheese is like a last minute vacation that ends up being the trip of a lifetime. It's got the perfect balance of flavor and crunch, making it an A tier snack. Well, it seems we can't all agree on the last flavor either. Let's compromise and settle on a B tier. And there you have it, folks, our brutally honest and detailed cheese it tier list full of controversial jabs and opinions. Happy snacking.